Today is the fourth day where uh, after the Prime Minister's address to the nation on building a Atmanirbar Bharat, we have been announcing in several tranches the various uh, steps that we want to take to give a stimulus, to help and to extend that uh, little assistance which as a government we should and do it in uh, time and therefore we had a um, Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan package post that we also ensured that people don't suffer with uh, you know having to file their returns or comply with taxation and related things. So in stages we have announced relief for the MSMEs, NBFCs and so on. But importantly, Prime Minister had also said in building a self-reliant Bharat, we should prepare ourselves also for tough competition so that we become strong, we are able to be first of all self-reliant and at the same time be sure we are strong enough to face the challenges of the global value chains and also be ready to integrate. I repeat, when we talk of self-reliant Bharat, when we talk of Atmanirbar Bharat, we are not looking inwards. It's not isolationist policy. It is certainly making India strong, making India rely on its strength and be ready to face the global challenge. Many sectors need policy simplification, whereby we can make it simpler for people to understand what that sector can provide for them, how they can participate in uh, that sectoral related activities, bring in transparency in processes and so on. So once we decongest sectors, we can also provide the necessary boost. That sector too will become strong enough and competent enough to provide the necessary boost for growth and employment. And as you all know, the Prime Minister has a very strong track record in taking up reforms, deep systemic reforms. I'll just, just highlight those reforms which are worth recalling. And on those reforms, it was public knowledge and all of you all covered extensively the efforts that had gone to take everybody on board so that those reforms become everyone's reform. DBT, the direct benefit transfer, today it's become very useful for us to be able to directly give money in the hands of people. GST, which had been pending for a very long time, all states were taken on board and GST brought in one nation, one market. IBC, companies waited for decades to have their insolvency-related matters settled. Limited success was felt through the various other programs, I mean, schemes which existed, Surface or BIFR and so on. Then the several steps which were taken for ease of doing business so that India becomes an attractive destination for investment. You also had the public sector banks reforms, not only just infusing some equity, but also making sure that they become professionally managed, although they are public sector banks, and performing well, but still they needed to have more professionalism, so that was also, and giving independence for them, because that's an area in which I would uh, take extreme pride to say, between 14 until today, you wouldn't have had one phone call going to any one of the banks saying, give this loan to my cousin or my whoever. No cronyism has been developed through the banks. Direct taxation reforms, Revenue Secretary is here. Most unexpected time the country saw that a drastic step had been taken, drastic but in a favourable sense. Power sector reforms, Wudai was a scheme which was brought in with a great sense of wanting to clean up that sector. It has its challenges but it was a daring reform. Coal sector, 
and also water and irrigation. There are many such I can list, but Prime Minister Modi has been absolutely consistent in making sure reforms are taken up. So structural reforms are the focus of today's announcements. Today's announcements are focusing on structural reforms. The sectors in which these measures will be impacting are those sectors with these reforms which are going to be the new horizon for growth. And therefore, uh, we see great potential in more investments which can be drawn with the reforms that we are announcing today. More production can be clearly marked and certainly it will lead to a lot more employment possibilities. We can actually start off with some uh, preliminary slides before I go into talking about uh, today's announcements, which will explain all the steps that we've taken in the recent past to make sure that investment come into this country and also make India a far, far more business-friendly destination. Before I go into that, it is important for us to recall that steps which have been taken earlier have been announced variously at different times. And uh, because of the lockdown and because of COVID, I think time feels like as though it's been a long time since the budget was presented. It was only presented on 1st February. And just as soon as the finance bill got passed, the parliament also had to uh, very quickly close for the reasons of social distancing and so on. And just before February, we announced the National Infrastructure Investment Foundation, the, the fund that was launched. So, and uh, therefore such steps have been uh, taken. Uh, clearly, these are the ones which are going to initiate a lot of things that we want to tell today and also a lot of things that we want to do towards building an Atma Nirbhar Bharat. So if we can go to the first slide. The policy reforms uh, to fast track investments. In the last couple of months, an empowered group of uh, secretaries has been formed who also looked at project development and project development cells were formed in various ministries Ranking of states on investment attractiveness is also being uh, worked out. This will make them compete for new investments. And promotion of champion sectors, such as the solar, PV manufacturing and so on, the advanced cell battery storage research, these kind of activities are also being given a priority. So for an Atma Nirbhar Bharat and for Make in India, such steps are crucial and we want to make sure that efforts which have been taken clearly give us the confidence that Make in India, which was launched at least three years back, as an initiative to change the mindset of people, to bring in new ways of doing business, to make sure that India becomes attractive, on its strength, are all being received very well. So today, if I look at Make in India for Atmanirbhar Bharat, the foundation was uh, laid earlier and many investors have found that India's market, size of India's market, the aspirational middle class, the rule of law which prevails and also making sure the talent pool which exists in India makes India an attractive destination for producing for India and also for producing in India and exporting from India. So that is exactly what has been shown here and uh, uh, incentive schemes are being given for these champion sectors. So we need to uh, clearly understand the purpose with which when we talk of Atmanirbhar Bharat, it is uh, on all these steps building India's strengths. The next slide would show you that attempts and also efforts have already started for upgradation of industrial infrastructure. 
I'm saying all this because the reform steps that I'm going to announce will have all these also uh, having a play in the various steps that we are announcing. Upgradation of in industrial infrastructure is something which we need to talk about afresh, although industrial infrastructure, um, industrial land, land banks, and also clusters have been recognized long time back. But they are all somewhat being utilized, many of them lying unutilized. So now using technology, we are making sure these uh, uh, land parcels are, through GPS, GIS mapping, are able to be identified, location cleared, their challenges being identified, common facilities which have to be created will all be um, done. 3,376 industrial parks and estates and SEZs have between them, well, have among them, 5 lakh hectares. All of them mapped as industrial information system can map them for future use. So this will be uh, a part of the portal which we will be running so that it will be available for any future potential investor to say, I know land exists there, we can go set up a business there. In the meanwhile, the state government working to this with the center is going to provide all the common facilities. So all industrial parks also will get ranked by 2020-21 so that we know what is the level of readiness that they have and how ready they are for competition. So with this said as a broad introductory statement, I just want to highlight the eight sectors about which we are going to talk, where reforms are being brought in. Coal, minerals, defense production. I read out separately the next three, although they together contribute for um, flying, airports and also aerospace related matters. Airspace management, airports, MRO, which is maintenance, repair and overhaul. So those three all go over to the civil aviation area. Distribution companies in the union territories, power distribution companies in the union territories. Space, space sector where ISRO and others have been uh, flag bearers for India. Atomic energy. So eight sectors, but I will be showing you about 10 to 12 slides all of them explaining each one of these sectors in detail. Namaskar. Atmanirbha Bharat ki jo kalpana manani pradhan mantri ji ne hum sab ke saamne rakhi thi aur 20 lakh crore ka package desh par ke liye laay thai. Usi kadi mein aaj chauthi press varta mein naye kshetra kaun se humare vikas ke liye ho sakte hai उसको लेकर क्या बदलाव क्या रिफॉर्म्स लाई जा सकती हैं उसको लेकर आज हम आप सबके सामने आए हैं क्योंकि माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कई बार पहले भी कहा है रिफॉर्म परफॉर्म ट्रांसफॉर्म और उसी दिशा में सबसे पहला कदम है रिफॉर्म्स लाने का पिछले कुछ दिनों में एमएसएमई सेक्टर हो या एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर हो इनकी परिभाषाएं चाहे एमएसएमई की हो ये एसेंशियल कॉमोडिटीज एक्ट की हो एपीएमसी एक्ट की बात हो इनको बदलने से ही इतनी पॉजिटिव बातचीत पूरे देश भर में हो रही है एक सकारात्मक सोच इन दोनों वर्गों में देश भर के करोड़ों लोगों के बीच में चल रही है एक नया क्षेत्र या बाकी नए क्षेत्र जिनकी माननीय वित्त मंत्री जी ने भी बात कही कि आठ नए क्षेत्रों को लेकर आप सबके सामने आए हैं ये भी कहा कि आत्मनिर्भर भारत को कड़ी प्रतिस्पर्धा के लिए तैयार रहना होगा हर चैलेंज के लिए चुनौती के लिए तैयार रहना होगा और जहां जहां नीतिगत बदलाव चाहिए वहां वहां नीतिगत बदलाव लाने के लिए भी हम लोग तैयार हैं अब इंप्लीमेंटेशन की बात आती है उसको उसके लिए माने ही मोदी जी जाते हैं कि किस तरह से अच्छी इंप्लीमेंटेशन पिछले छह वर्षों में करके दिखाई चाहे वो जीएसटी की बात हो आई इंसॉल्वेंसी बैंक कोड की बात हो जनधन योजना की बात हो यूपीआई जैसे प्लेटफॉर्म बनाने की बात हो हर गांव में बिजली और हर घर को राशन देने तक की कोविड 19 की स्थिति में बात हो तो इसलिए इस सेक्टर्स में भी तेजी कैसे आए फास्ट ट्रैक इन्वेस्टमेंट की कैसे हो उसके लिए एम्पावर्ड ग्रुप ऑफ सेक्रेटरीज का गठन किया गया है जो निजी निवेश की मंजूरी के लिए 
गति देने का काम उसमें से करेंगे ताकि उसमें सहायता मिल सके और आकर्षित हम विदेशी निवेश को कर सकें प्रत्येक मंत्रालय में प्रोजेक्ट डेवलपमेंट सेल बनेगा जो ये तय करेगा कि किस क्षेत्र में निवेश आ सकता है कौन निवेशक हो सकता है इनसे बातचीत करेगा और राज्यों से और केंद्र से बात भी करेगा ताकि निवेश करने वाले को कहीं पर दिक्कत ना आए एक तरह से हैंड होल्डिंग करने का काम यहां पर होगा राज्यों की रैंकिंग भी होगी उनकी कितनी अट्रैक्टिव पॉलिसीज है कि इन्वेस्टमेंट के लिए यानी कि निवेश के लिए कितनी आकर्षित करने वाली उनकी योजनाएं हैं उसके ऊपर डिपेंड करेगा उनकी रैंकिंग को और नए चैंपियन सेक्टर्स को बढ़ावा देने के लिए चाहे वो सोलर पीवी हो इसकी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग की बात हो या एडवांस सेल बैटरी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग की बात हो इसके लिए भी जो भी इंसेंटिव देने होंगे वो भी हम लेकर आएंगे ताकि इन क्षेत्रों में भी बढ़ावा ऐसे और के क्षेत्रों में भी बढ़ावा मिल सके जो नए चैंपियन सेक्टर्स हैं अब इंडस्ट्रियल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की अगर बात करें औद्योगिक बुनियादी ढांचे में उसके उन्नयन के लिए इस योजना को लाया गया है ताकि देश भर में जो लगभग तीन इंडस्ट्रियल पार्क इंडस्ट्रियल स्टेट एस ये लगभग पांच लाख हेक्टेयर्स में फैले हुए हैं और इन सब की जानकारी आपको औद्योगिक सूचना प्रणाली यानी कि आई पर मिलेगी जिसकी जी मैपिंग की जाएगी ताकि निवेश करने वाले को कोई दिक्कत ना हो जो उसको बाद में दिक्कत आती थी जमीन से जुड़े मुद्दों को लेकर वो भी दूर होगी जमीन की उपलब्धता भी पांच लाख हेक्टेयर के लगभग जो इंडस्ट्रियल हमारे स्टेट्स हैं या हमारे पार्क्स हैं उनमें भी जो होगी उसमें उनको लाभ मिलेगा और इसीलिए इस योजना में बदलाव भी लाया गया है इसको मिशन मोड पर चैलेंज मोड पर किया जाएगा ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा निवेशकों को जमीन जल्द से जल्द उपलब्ध राज्यों में करवाई जा सके और इसके लिए कनेक्टिविटी में भी सुधार होगा और कॉमन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर जो है उसमें भी अपग्रेड करने का काम किया जाएगा फर्स्ट ऑफ द एट सेक्टर्स दैट आई वांट टू स्पीक अबाउट इज कोल देर आर फोर स्लाइड्स ऑल स्पीकिंग अबाउट द वेरियस स्टेप्स बट आई विल run through uh, about all the four even though the sequencing may be a bit different we are bringing in commercial mining and coal sector you know coal as all of you all know coal is a government monopoly that government monopoly is what is now being removed commercial mining of coal on a revenue sharing basis would help more coal availability and also more coal availability at market prices so this will be far more efficient and more people can get to using it liberalized entries will be allowed for people to participate for a range of coal blocks and for those who produce well before the deadline incentives also will be given but let's first understand if india which is the third richest or which has the third largest and third large valued coal availability in its mines in untapped mines which meaning it has the third valuable deposit of coal and we still import coal and we still sometimes feel that the energy sector is suffering because raw material is not available so regulations are required and this line you would recall i have said yes day before yesterday i have also said yesterday regulations are required when there is a shortage but this country is has got abundant coal and we've been regulating it suffocating it from you know producing ample quantity of coal which will require which will be in, uh, required by the industry economy can be benefiting from this kind of opening up of course we are conscious that coal is not so environment friendly so in order to have coal converted into gas we are providing incentive so that coal is also used but the environment uh, commitments of india are honored and we benefit from gasification of coal and also uh, the coal bed methane 
also will be auctioned so that these coal beds which are with coal india but untapped also can benefit the country so the coal uh, coal bed methane extraction also will happen through auctioning 50000 crores will be spent by government of india for creating evacuation infrastructure because after the coal is mined brought to the pit head you don't have enough uh, right kind of infrastructure to have this coal mine the coal evacuated from there so 50000 crores is being given to ensure that evacuation infrastructure is provided so this is in short what has been done to bring in reforms in the coal sector कोयला उत्पादन के क्षेत्र में आत्मनिर्भरता हमारी कैसे बने और केवल उतना ही कोयला बाहर से लाया जाए जिसकी आवश्यकता है जो यहां पर उपलब्ध नहीं है दुनिया का सबसे या दुनिया के पहले तीन सबसे बड़े भंडारण क्षमताओं में जहां पर कोल ब्लॉक्स हैं यानी कि जहां पर कोयला है उसमें भारत आता है उसके बावजूद हम शायद अपनी क्षमता का दोहन नहीं कर पाए जो हमारे पास उपलब्ध थी और इसीलिए कुछ बदलाव इसमें किए जाएंगे ताकि इसमें जो प्रति टन पहले जितने रुपए मिलते थे उसकी बजाय अब राजस्व साझा करने की बात आएगी उस पर जाया जाएगा और जैसे पहले जो स्टील प्लांट चलाते थे बिजली का उत्पादन करते थे केवल उनको मिलता था इसके लिए ओपन ऑप्शन भी होगी ताकि ओपन मार्केट में सेल कर सकें ज़्यादा लोग इसमें आए ज़्यादा इसका खनन हो सके और इससे देश की अर्थव्यवस्था को और देश के उद्योग को भी बल मिलेगा लगभग 50 ऐसे नए ब्लॉक्स खनन के लिए नीलामी पर आने वाले समय में उपलब्ध करवाए जाएंगे और इसमें अपफ्रंट पेमेंट की सीलिंग होगी कोई पात्रता के बड़ी कंडीशन जिसमें नहीं है इस तरह की केवल उनको अपफ्रंट पेमेंट करनी है और यही नहीं इसके अलावा जो पार्शली एक्सप्लोर थे हमारे खदान उनको भी देने का काम किया जाएगा ताकि उनका भी खनन और किया जा सके और उसका लाभ भी मिले कहीं ना कहीं आंशिक रूप से ये जो अन्वेषण हुआ था अब इसको निजी क्षेत्र को देकर जल्दी उसमें और लाभ मिल सकता है और प्लेयर्स आएंगे तो खनन ज्यादा हो पाएगा और जो अपना समय से पहले खनन की प्रक्रिया को पूरा करता है तो उसको भी इंसेंटिवाइज करने का काम कुछ ऐसे प्रोग्राम्स के माध्यम से किया जाएगा